what's up? So generation eight, Pokemon Sword and Shield. For those of you that have it and have had a chance to play through it, I'm sure you probably enjoyed it a lot. Maybe you've had the opportunity to do a second run through already. And maybe after beating that second run through, you start to realize you're missing something. Well, missing like 400-ish somethings. What I'm talking about is the Dex Cut. There are so many people talking about what Pokemon they miss seeing in this game. At first, it's not really a big deal because you've got this new world to explore. There's so many Pokemon. But after a time, you start to realize like, dang, I really, really wish I could catch that in this game. So what I wanted to do in today's video is look at 10 of the most missed Pokemon in Sword and Shield. And lastly, before we do get into it, as always, I say this a lot, but if you guys do want to see more Pokemon content, it really is dependent on your support. So please just leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and watch the video all the way through, and that will help tell YouTube that you like this content and you'll want to see more of it. Anyways, though, with all that said, let's get into it. So starting in at our number 10 spot, I thought we would actually begin with the OG pseudo-legendary, and that is Dragonite. Now of all the Pokemon cuts, I gotta say this was one of the biggest shocks. Despite not being the very best pseudo-legendary, he is certainly one of the most iconic, and to me, it was really shocking that he got cut. And if you look at what made it in, it's even more surprising. So you've got Tyranitar from Gen 2, the Dark Rock. You have Gudra, a pure dragon. Dragapult is Gen 8, a ghost dragon. You have Hydrogen, Dark Dragon, and then you've also got Como O, which is dragon fighting. And to me, it was just kind of surprising that they didn't want a dragon flying. Like, even if they were very set on no Dragonite, I was also shocked that there was no Salamence. You'd think they would have gone for one of the pseudo-legendary dragon flyings, but neither got put into the game. So not only Dragonite is missed, but honestly, Salamence is a big one too. Anyways, moving on to our number nine spot, we've actually got the Abra fam. Now, while personally, Alakazam is probably my favorite Pokemon of all time, that's not why I put him on the list. Okay, well... Maybe a little bit. But you see, a lot of people were shocked that Abra wasn't in this game, not just because they missed it and loved it, but because of what other Pokemon were. And specifically, we're talking about Gengar and Machamp. See, from Gen 1, you've got this little subclass of the trade evolution Pokemon. You've got Geodude, Abra, and then Machop and Ghastly. And these four Pokemon have always kind of like shared this little unique group. It made sense that Geodude wasn't in the game, as you've got Roly Coley as well as Ragnarola, but a lot of people miss Abra. Chop got in the game, Ghastly got in the game, and they just completely axed one of the most iconic psychic Pokemon of all time. I mean, it's not to say that you don't have a lot of other psychic options in this game, but I think nothing really is quite Alakazam. For dual types, you've got Orbeetle, Gardevoir, Hatterene, Rapidash. For pure psychics, you've got Reuniclus, Espeon, Gothitelle, but there's nothing that's quite Alakazam. Just that speedy, crazy, high, special attack boy that he is. So it's sad to begin with that we don't have this iconic psychic Pokemon, but it's even worse when you realize that Machop and Ghastly did make it in. Anyways, moving on to number eight, I wanted to talk about grass. Not the stuff that grows on lawns, but more specifically, the type. I actually reached out to you guys on Twitter for this list, and a lot of you were saying how you felt like there are not enough grass types in this generation. To go through the list, I mean, you've got Rillaboom, Delmes, Serena, Abomasnow, and Ferrothorn. Those are really like the main ones, as well as Leafeon, but no one's using Leafeon. So one Pokemon that a lot of people said they kind of wished was in the game is actually Tangrowth. And this was actually an interesting call, but I liked it. One, because it's a Generation 4 Pokemon, and Generation 4 really got axed quite hard, but also just because it's a really good grass Pokemon. Anyways, moving on to number seven, we've got the Generation 2 electric Pokemon, Ampharos. Now, you guys on Twitter were very diverse on your picks, and I feel like we've got almost something from every generation on this list. But as far as Gen 2 goes, this was a good call. Yeah, Ampharos is uh, just a solid electric type. On top of that, it just, it looks really cool. And while there are some other really cool electric types, like Toxtricity, for example, I wouldn't have been sad if, if they had to put Ampharos in the game. Like a lot of people were saying that Manetric doesn't make sense when you've got Yamper, which is such a similar Pokemon, and that really that place should have been Ampharos, which, yeah, I, I kind of agree. Overall, it was a very sad loss, and uh, 
I would love to see Anforos return. Now, moving on to our number six spot, this was pretty much purely your guys' pick here from Twitter, um, and it's Volcarona. So I've actually never run through a game with Volcarona, so I don't have much attachment to it, but I am aware that it's regarded as a very strong Pokemon. And a lot of people really seem to miss this guy. Now, it kind of makes sense that Volcarona got replaced, as you've got Sentascorch, which is a very similar strong bug fire, but it is still sad. At least this one I can understand, but I did want to pay my respects to a Pokemon that I know a lot of people miss. Then moving on to our number five spot, we've got Crobat and the Zubat family. Dude, I gotta say, I, I miss, I kind of miss Zubat. I know some people have their issues with Zubat, but in my personal opinion, he, he's really a staple of Pokemon and I much prefer it over Wubat. So when I saw that this family got the ax, it was, pretty sad. Not only are Zubat and Golbat a bit of a staple, I mean, Crobat's actually an incredible Pokemon. He looks great, and he's just so fast with all these very sneaky and interesting moves. I, I really like this one, so another one I was sad to see gone. Now, moving on to number four, we've got a Pokemon I hadn't really quite thought about, but this was a good point. It's actually Scyther. Good old Generation 1 Scyther. Yeah, I, I almost couldn't believe it. Scyther wasn't a Pokemon I missed until I realized it wasn't even in the game. Think of what kind of of unnoticed but as soon as you think about it you're like what of the original 151 there's kind of like a group of pokemon that, that i feel like are, are truly icons and you know if lapras is in here scyther's gotta be in here you know if machamp is in here scyther's gotta be in here and he's not i mean for bugs we've got like butterfree shuckle but come on, they're not Scyther. And what's even worse about this is when you realize that if Scyther's not in the game, that means Caesar isn't. I mean, it just gets sadder. Caesar is such a cool Generation 2 Pokemon, and to see him gone is, is really heartbreaking. Scyther and Caesar are just such a power team of a family, and man, shocking to see them gone, but they certainly are now missed. Not to mention, how cool would it be to see a Scyther or a Caesar just going through the wild? That would have been fantastic now moving into our number three spot we're getting into some more big boys here we've got garchomp the generation four wrecking house that is garchomp truly i think one of the most missed pokemon really garchomp was the only pseudo legendary that you guys mentioned even close enough to dragonite and while i know dragonite is kind of like the og and cool garchomp is well, honestly, it was a really shocking pick. I wasn't sure if it was just because people were kind of sick of this Pokemon or not, but honestly, Garchomp is, again, like a bit, as far as the pseudo legendaries go, I think a bit of an icon. I mean, he's got to be a top three most favorited, and to see it gone was shocking. They really just stuck to their later pseudos and Tyranitar, so it's kind of weird. But if we're going to talk about pseudo legendaries, okay, there's one more that I think is being severely overlooked. And that is Metagross. See, when we're gonna talk about pseudo legendaries, I'm kind of okay with a lot of these. Okay, we've already got a lot of dragons. You've got Guja, you've got Hydreigon, you've got Como O. I mean, we've got a lot of dragon pseudo legendaries. And plus, we had Dragapult added into the mix this season. So it's like we've got one non dragon pseudo, Tyranitar, and then four dragons. I mean, did we really need Como O? I mean, come on, wouldn't you have preferred Metagross? Psychic Steel, absolute mad lad. On top of that, I feel like Generation 3 got hit pretty hard, and this is one of the cooler Pokemon from this generation. But yeah, I mean, Metagross in a nutshell is just really cool. He's got an interesting typing, and I mean, I feel like the pseudos are now all kind of boring. Just a lot of dragons, and, and I mean, it's always been a lot of dragons, but you know, like, Nothing but dragons. <laughs> Anyways, with that said, let's move on. So, if there was one category of Pokemon that is most missed, it's gotta be starters. I'm talking Squirtle, and I'm talking Bulbasaur. So there's a weird thing going on here where these Pokemon are technically in the code of the game and are probably going to be possible to get eventually, but not yet. Dude, Charizard is out here eating and we got Blastoise and Venusaur getting nothing. It's a little weird. But not only that, I mean, think about how many other starters are missed. A lot of you guys were talking how Gen 2 got no love. I mean, you got Typhlosion, Meganium, and Feraligator. Dude, Generation 3, Sceptile, Swampert, and Blaziken. A few others that you guys mentioned were Infernape, Greninja, Decidueye, and that's just to name a few. Overall, the starter lineup really got axed, and it's 
it's pretty sad. And it's a group that you're not really going to miss on your first playthrough because we've got all these other starters, but it's truly sad to see them gone once you've played through a bit. So while this last spot was kind of like a giant mashup, this, this number one spot is basically just going to all the starters that aren't in the game. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be our video for today. Um, thank you guys again if you watched all the way through for your support and, and all that stuff. Um, if you haven't yet and could please leave a like, that would be amazing as well. Subscribe to the channel, all that stuff. I'm really enjoying these videos um, and I want to continue to make them as much as you guys want me to. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later and peace out, you freaking nerd.